Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I wanted to do a review today of my wallet. Actually, there's two wallets here as you can see. They are the same exact wallet, but just in different prints. So I'm currently using this camel one. So this is the 31 brand, all about the Benjamins wallet. I stumbled upon this wallet back in June and I started becoming really intrigued in it because uh, it just turns out lately I need a bigger wallet to carry more things. My life is a little bit different now. Um, since March I started working outside the home so just life is a little bit has a different rhythm right now and I just needed more space to carry specific things. So when I saw this wallet I was immediately intrigued, watched a ton of videos, at least the ones I could find. Um, I didn't find there were that many that were really thorough. They were kind of more just an overview, quick peek kind of a video. So hopefully this helps anybody that's looking to purchase this style wallet. So first off, both of these prints are retired. I purchased them both on Poshmark and um, I am a 31 consultant and um, since these are retired prints I couldn't get them in the catalog so I purchased them like I mentioned on Poshmark. This is a wristlet strap I have attached on the camo one. It's detachable and it obviously can be interchanged with either one of these. I also have another wristlet strap that's this color that can interchange uh, really well with this one and I just recently ordered a third wallet uh, of these wallets from the new fall catalog which is coming out September 1st. So by the time you guys see this video it means new wallets and all new fall prints and products are coming out very soon. So I want to do a general overview first. First off they are large wallets. These are the largest type and style of wallet I've ever owned and I've owned a lot of different wallets. I started my YouTube channel a handful of years ago doing mainly only packing, bag, handbag, wallet, diaper bag, name it, any kind of bag review. That's why I started my channel and my channel has since evolved over the years into more of like a food channel. However, I do still like to do other videos on, you know, items that interest me. So both of these are large wallets. They are, they are zip around wallets, so they completely zip around. I really like how easy they zip. They have a nice chunky zipper here, like a nice thick zipper, really well made a zipper. So I really do prefer it with the wristlet. I love how these wallets have these little D rings and the wristlet straps can be interchanged with other products. And I really like that I can just slide it in, be completely hands free, this also unsnaps so you can attach it to a diaper bag, a bigger bag, to your keys. It's just really multifunctional. Let me go ahead first and just show you the empty. This is one I switched out of. I was using this one um, in June and July and then I switched into the camo one at the beginning of August. So this is pretty much the layout guys. You open it up like this and there are the card slots here. So you have an ample amount of card slots. You also have an ID case. I don't choose to keep my ID in here because I keep it on my like key ring, uh, key fob, ID holder. And then I keep all my cards in here. It has a like little slip pocket here. I know a lot of people use this pocket for receipts and I have done that too. So I think it's a really good spot when you're checking out at the store and you're paying and putting your cash or your cards back you can go ahead and slip the receipt right in here and it's a large space so you can fit a lot of receipts if you're somebody that maybe balances out in you know your receipts at the end of the week and balances your checkbook that kind of thing i think that's really a nice feature and then on the other side of the wallet there are more card slots here so there's several more here there's also a slip pocket in the back that you can put like overflow cards or coupons really whatever this would be a great couponing wallet um, for somebody who does, you know, a handful to multiple coupons per shopping trip. There is this nice large area here. A lot of people put their phones in this area. Um, I personally put mine here, which I'll show you guys in the packed wallet. I'm just showing you an overview of it empty so it's easier to see. So large pocket here, another large pocket here. And in the middle of those two pockets, you have a nice generous like coin area. And you could also put your phone in here. And even, obviously, this is an empty wallet. 
it zips around perfect and with nothing else in it it really doesn't change the shape of the wallet this is a galaxy s9 with a pop socket and a case on it so that's sort of the overview of what it looks like opened up and then now i want to show you it packed with my phone in it so like i said i don't keep my id in here obviously i could but i currently don't have it in here and then i just have all my most used or most reach for cards in here so i always keep one credit card for emergencies my debit card which is my main source of spending when i'm out it just comes right out of my bank account i've got a my target red debit card my jc penny card my nordstrom card and this is a bj's gift card and underneath it is my bj's membership so those are the cards i keep i keep this pocket like i said for receipts and then the other side so in the way back here i keep overflow cards and these are for a lot of the cards that i need for my son that's a random gift card but i've got like our bowling membership card our arcade membership we've got like a sort of this other place which is like an indoor play area so we keep a lot of those things back there because they all have like value to them or like points or something or credit i don't know how to word it but they're all able to be used when my son and i go back there and then in the back part i have most of these credit card slots double or triple packed since it's like a nylon material it's much more flexible than the faux leather by the way it is a faux pebbled leather so in the back part I have less used store cards. I have some like reward and punch cards, our library cards, our insurance cards, uh, things like that. This pocket here I usually leave empty. I have some cash in this next part. And then in the coin part I obviously have coins, a little tiny scissor, and I always try to carry a little Benadryl kids with me for my son because he has a dog allergy that's very... Um, like it's very sense he's very sensitive to dogs and obviously with us being outside all the time we run into a lot of dogs so I need to have that just in case and then I mentioned earlier my cell phone I find the best way because of how I pack the wallet is to just put it face down right here and then I close it and then I zip it up and it zips fine however it does change the shape of the wallet. You can clear, clearly see, even from the front right here, it kind of makes it bend a little bit. So because of that, I don't always choose to put my phone in there. I just wanted you to see that it would fit. A larger phone, pop socket. This is a decently thick case. And even though it does bend or change the shape of the wallet, it, it fits it still fits um, without the pop socket I'm sure it would be a lot better but I do have the option and sometimes I do choose to put my phone in there when I'm really needing my to be completely hands-free so that's just an option I know a lot of people don't have pop sockets a lot of people might not have as much stuff in their wallet so you could easily you know play with it and see where the phone fits best in there for you so yeah guys that's pretty much the overview um, the new wallet I ordered, I'm going to show you guys right now. It's coming out September 1st and it's gorgeous. Let me show you right now in the catalog. All right, guys. So this is not the wallet. This is a different item, but it is the color and material of the new wallet. It's in chestnut. The, the color is called chestnut distressed pebble. So these are the three new besides the one I ordered the chestnut. These are the additional three. Uh, colors that are being released so they're really pretty i've got the crushed berry pebble it's like a berry pebbled faux leather and then there is this one here which is a navy dotted geo pebble gorgeous and then there's the black and white buffalo check pebble now these wallets are 58 dollars um, for the printed ones and the solid color one is 48 dollars Again, a large wallet, guys. If you want to get a matching wrist wrist strap or wristlet, you can also use these not with these. You don't have to buy one of these to go with your wallet, but it's a really nice combo. You can see this one has it right in the stock photo. The wristlets are $8. They do unsnap. You can be used for a multitude of different things. Um, but what I wanted to say price-wise is I personally think the price point on these is really good. Um, I have used Louis Vuitton wallets. I've used Kate Spade, Tory Burch. I've used uh, multiple different brands 
all of the ones I just named obviously being much higher in price than these but I mean for a price point of 48 to 58 dollars when you add the wrist you know the wrist strap eight dollars added on to that I personally think just my opinion that's a really good price for a nice wallet that's going to hold everything that you need so I really really love this wallet so much I can't wait to show you guys my new one when it comes in this is the new fall catalog, so definitely check that out. I will leave a link down below in the description box. If you want to check out my website, all the fall stuff goes live September 1st. You can also join my Facebook 31 group. I'll leave that link down below as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.